to 30 Things to Store. I am Shauna, and each day this month, we are giving you tips for how to store the things that most people have around their home. So we're on day 25 already. Hard to believe we're into our last full week. If you were here yesterday, we talked about how to store the things you wear on the bottom half of your body, and now we're gonna talk about how to store the things that you wear on the top half of your body. So let's first talk about what should be hung. Things that should be hung include men's dress shirts, blouses, silky things, and jackets. Men's jackets, suit jackets, blazers, those kinds of things. Those are all a for sure hang. That's our best choice. Now again, I mentioned before that there are lots of different kinds of hangers and people have strong opinions, but I will say when you're hanging something silky, it can be helpful to have a hanger like this. And what this hanger has is sort of a velvety surface on the top. That makes things almost stick and grab to a little bit, and that will keep them from falling off. Another thing to remember when you're hanging a blouse is sometimes under the arms, there will be these loops that almost look like tiny ribbons. What those are for is for when you put your blouse on the hanger, you take the loops and put them over the middle on the, on the alternate side, and that also will help to keep your blouse from sliding off. I'll put a link for a velvet uh, type of hanger back on the website. Uh, for men's dress shirts, that is the one time that it's okay to use that wire hanger, that dry cleaner hanger. And if you're having your shirts dry cleaned, they'll come on those hangers, and they're strong enough just for one shirt. However, for a man's blazer or suit jacket, you want a much sturdier hanger. And something perhaps along this lines doesn't have to be wood, but it should be fairly sturdy. And if you look from the side, you'll see it's almost bowed a little bit. And that is the best way to hang the jacket because the shoulders will fit nicely over the hanger on this angle. Okay? Now, those are things that for sure should be hung. Now let's talk about what should go on a shelf or in a drawer. That would include your regular uh, casual tops, whether they're long or short-sleeved, and t-shirts and sweatshirts and those kinds of things. Those can easily be folded and either set on a shelf or tucked in a drawer. Again, there are lots of products around these days to make that easier, uh, but you know, whatever works for you. If you wear a lot of t-shirts and you pick, would like to pick your shirt based on the decal that's on the front, it is possible to fold your t-shirts in such a way that what, and file them this way so you can see that decal sticking up at you and that can be kind of an easy way to store t-shirts. If you don't know how to do that, you could just Google how to fold t-shirts or how to file t-shirts and you can see some videos on how to do that. Now one question I get a lot is about sweaters, right? Sweaters are big and they're bulky and generally I recommend that you store those on a shelf or in a drawer. The reason that I feel that way is that if you try to hang a sweater, generally because of the way they're made, they stretch out on the shoulders. And sometimes the hanger can even put a bump into the shoulder that's hard to get rid of. So my first preference is to fold them. However, there is a way to hang a sweater to avoid that problem. So if you have lots of hanging and very limited shelf space, you might want to try this. You take the sweater, you fold it in half long ways so that you have the bulk of the sweater and the sleeves. And you see you get this little space down here on the bottom. So you fold it that way. Then you take your hanger, any old hanger, this is even a plastic hanger, take the top, the loop, and you tuck it into that part under the arm. Then you take the long piece, the bulk of the sweater, and if to make it extra secure, you tuck it behind the bar. And then you take the sleeves and you tuck them behind the bar as well. Now the sweater is hung, it won't stretch out the shoulders. So those are just a few tips on how to store your tops. Remember, if you have questions, you can always email me and uh, I'll try to help you out. Hope to see you tomorrow on 30 Things to Store.